Friday for you guys. I will have like our daily warm up and stuff. I always do that. But in general, um, if we're working on like independent projects like this, I like I like to give you most of that time on Friday too to work on this, because uh, I think practicing is what's going to make you better, and then eventually you'll be able to just. Well, anyway, so um, that's sort of the plan. But the other, this, what this little like paper is, I wanted to print this off for you because I wanted to show you some student examples because I think they're pretty fabulous. I especially love that little angry cat. It's a, like too small to really tell, but there's a lot of different brushwork in there. Um, your other sort of independent illustrator assignment is to do a line art of anything you want. So this is like student choice basically as long as it's like appropriate, you know? Um, so you see some people did like animals and some did like sports teams and whatever. The requirements are to have uh, at least three colors and at least four different paint brushes. You're gonna have to label which the, the colors, uh, what what's what, but for now you wanna choose a picture of anything that you want from uh, from Google. So, it can literally be anything. We're trying, I'm asking you guys to like practice making lines in for this assignment, not shapes. So you can do an outline of something, but I want you to fill the, so if you look at like the student examples, they're, they've used line to sort of show motion or to um, show like the way something is filled in rather than just filling in with color. We're practicing line, practicing, um, uh, making lines and using paintbrushes. So my favorite animal is an orca whale. So I'm going to do an orca for this. Whatever picture you like. So regal. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, hi. No. Okay, this picture is not exciting, but it will be once I make it out of lines. And you're going to do the same thing that we did with our hot air balloon. Now, see how this guy is, uh, is horizontal and my picture is vertical? I could make him smaller or I could rotate him by use if I pull out to the edge of this shape that he's in, there's a little like turny arrow thing. If I hold shift, it will do it at 45 degree angles. So I can fit him in better that way. Or I can take my artboard, so use my artboard tool and change the direction of my artboard. So those are a couple different things you can do. So then you want to change the opacity on the picture so that we can put lines over it and actually see them. So maybe down to 50. And then you're going to want to lock that picture so that it's not moving. And then, yeah, so I may... I, I may want to, um, so first you want to outline it? You don't have to outline it first. Some, a lot of kids like to outline it cause that feels like more stable. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you wanted to, I mean, you could challenge yourself to try to do it only lines. Ooh. So maybe that brush isn't the best fit here. And remember if you press, um, so I'm just starting like with this, but the this is too transparent for me. This ink ink pen. Um, but if you want to see what your drawing is looking like, you can always disappear the eye from your locked image, and you can see what everything looks like underneath. So as you start building your image, as you start building your line drawing, you can check out what what it looks like. All right, everybody save. Command us. I will see you on Friday for warm up and delight.
And then I'm gonna, and then I'll stick around. And um, if people have questions on how to use certain things on Illustrator, otherwise you're gonna be able to work on this stuff, which is so fun. Hopefully. What? Yeah. So Command S.